Hey, Tab Nation, once again, it's your boy, Tom. And today, some of my most popular videos are showcase videos. I've done a few where I've done, like, script mime, maybe one or two applications, but we're going to do six here today. And all these applications, or scripts, I guess you say, I actually got from script mime. If you haven't seen the video explaining what this is exactly, I'll put that in the description below, linking to that video. But it's a very great website. You should definitely check it out, or at least check that video out. So all my scripts are from here. I will obviously link every single script that I talk about in the description below, so you can find it very easily. Alright, let's jump into it. So the first script we're going to be talking about, I just got it named testing on my desktop for some odd reason, but we'll call it the window watcher. Let's call it that. Why not? Basically what it does here is um, I'm not really going to go through a lot of the code, just kind of point out stuff that maybe you should change or want to change to kind of match what you want. This is a very simple script. I see this being asked a lot where people are kind of wanting a program to watch if their kids are opening like Minecraft or something and give them some type of warning or even if they're just trying to be productive to prevent them from being able to, as a reminder, to not do it. So on here, you're just going to do uh, 10 seconds what I got it set at. Just doing a check every 10 seconds. You can change it to whatever and seeing if YouTube is open. If it is, it's going to do a sound beep three times, which just goes over my speakers. You can change this code to send you a text message. If you're watching your kids, automatically close the window or give you a message box, whatever you want. I'm just going to do a sound beep for the testing of this video. So nothing too fancy here. Let's go ahead and run that. I do not have YouTube open at the moment. Let's go ahead, open it in browser here. Wait about 10 seconds, make sure it doesn't go off or anything. So obviously I don't have YouTube open, which I guess you can't see, but there we go. Let's go ahead and open YouTube. I'm not sure if you're going to hear this, but I'll be quiet. There we go. Hopefully you heard at least something there and it went ahead and closed it out for me. So that's really all there is to that one, but I see people asking that a lot. All right, on to the next one. And that is going to be a, another simple script, but very helpful, especially in the workplace. And that is insert date. Let's uh, pull that code up here real quick, just so you can get a glance at it. Very simple code here. So nothing too crazy. It's using a hot string. You can change this to a hot key if you want. Uh, basically, if you type in, you know, whatever, it's going to go ahead and replace it with date. I'm going to leave it just how it was. I kind of think that's a great way to do it. Let me open notepad here. Let me fix that a little bit better size. So basically I can, uh, well, I should probably run the script first. That makes a lot of sense. Let's close out the old one. All right. And I'm just going to start typing. Today is the, and I'm going to hit little bracket thing and D and voila. It went ahead and put the date and the time in there. If you don't want the time, all you got to do is delete this little chunk of code right here. And if you're in another country and, you know, this format doesn't work for you, just change it up. Super easy, super awesome script, especially if you're going to be writing a lot of emails. All right, that is it for the second one. Let's take a look at the next one. And that is going to be Sticky Notes. And let's go ahead and launch that one. And basically, it's just a note keeping thing. So we'll say, you know, note one, not one. How are things? Make sure to do this stuff. So maybe we're making a to-do list. One, eat, two, sleep, three, repeat. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save that. We're good. I should probably change the name. You know, I don't want it to be called untitled. So let's call it to-do. Simple enough. Save. And then uh, let's let's make a new one. We'll go here. This is note two, and you know, website one. Maybe I'm making a list of websites that I use a lot, and I need to remember how to get to them. So I can put like the URLs here or something. Let's name it URLs. Go ahead and save all that. 
Obviously, I can delete notes too. I'm not sure what these two things do here. Let's let's find out. They're kind of in a little bit of gibberish there. I guess that's just kind of where you're putting stuff. Oh, okay. So this one's settings. I guess you can change like the color, uh, the text color, automatic text, show on startup, a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, dark mode. Oh, you can add a password. Don't forget your password. That'd probably be bad. So I'm pushing apply. There might be some problems with this one. I haven't actually had too much chance to play with it. What if I close it and relaunch it? Well, anyway, there's my notes. They're still there. Everything's good. This is a great way. You know, you can just keep sitting there adding more and more notes. And then eventually it's going to break into two rows and so on. So this is really cool. Uh, you know, there's a few things I would change on here. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out why these are showing uh, weird characters. I'll try to fix that before connecting them. And then I also think it would be nice to be able to have this as a resizable window. I'll put a comment on script. Uh, mime see if he's uh up to do that if not i'll fix them all righty let's take a look at the next one which is folder switch menu this one's pretty cool very useful especially when i'm doing videos or just editing in general both are pretty good but um yeah let's open a bunch of folders here real quick for the demo i'll open oh, i guess i need to push let's just push control new we'll go to pictures there's uh, some interesting pictures i took on the scanner with our faces just for the fun of it <laughs> and we'll open the uh, documents so here you go i got a few uh i got a few things going on here yeah i'm on here i want to switch you know between whatever uh, what was that documents and pictures if you're going to push f3 you can obviously change that hotkey to whatever you want and it's going to display all the different things that i have open so i can quickly switch to documents and it's going to bring me back so i can go ahead and close all these you know i don't need them up what's this not sure what happened there what did happen there uh-oh looks like we ran into a bug yeah, so we got File Explorer. Uh, let's open Let's open a few more. Let's try that again. There we go. So we're going to do, I don't know, Captures. We'll go to Live. But yeah, so basically it just kind of keeps track of video, uh, file explorers that I've been on as an easy way to kind of switch back between them. So now I can go back to uh, the uh, ReLive one. There it is. So yeah, it's a fast way to switch between them. It's definitely helpful when you're doing a lot of editing, constantly going through folders to find whatnot. If you find any bugs like I just did there, definitely hit up the uh, creator on ScriptMime. I'll have all that stuff, like I said, linked in the description below. Just let them know. Hopefully they can fit, get it fixed. If not, I'll fix it for you. Now, the next two are definitely the ones I've been using quite a bit. The other ones are cool. I don't really have much of a need for them. Hopefully you do though. But these two I use a lot. Uh, I'm constantly switching between applications, windows, whatnot. And I use like the alt tab thing here, which is kind of annoying, honestly. I don't like doing that. I wanted something a little bit more simple. So this kind of solves that problem. So let's go ahead and do toggle last window. And let's see, let's open Chrome window and notepad. So. It's pretty simple. All I'm gonna do is click down on my mouse button and it just switches between whatever the last one was. It's basically alt tab, but like way more convenient because I don't need my other hand and I don't have to push two buttons and have like that whole like display thing pop up, whatever you want to call it. This is definitely my favorite. I use this a lot in gaming too. But yeah, Whee! definitely one of my favorites for sure. And the next one, I use this a lot for recording, or I will be, because I just got it. And that's High Desktop Icons. So let's take a look at that one. And I figured out how to trigger that one, so let's take a look here. F12, that's right. So, see all the icons on my desk? Now you don't. All it does is hide them. You know, let's throw a few more in there. Let's throw some of my game icons in there, too. Oh, I love this one. I mean, it just makes my desktop look so clean. And it's back. Oh, I love this. 
I didn't even know this was possible, honestly, with auto hockey. So those last two are definitely my favorite. I'm going to use them a lot in gaming and just in recording these videos. Now, definitely hit that subscribe button. I have tons more videos coming out every week teaching you anything having to do with auto hockeys, mostly with automation in mind. And if you guys have any recommendations on scripts I should use in another showcase coming up, definitely link those in the description below or just shoot me an email, which is in my channel's description. I'd be happy to throw those on there and give you guys credit for whoever created them. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you find these scripts very helpful. Definitely smash that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.